Hey everyone and welcome to another FM Synthesis tutorial. In this video I'll be showing you how to transfer your DX7 patches to your computer as a sysx file. There are two things you need before you start this process. The first one is hardware and the second one is software. In terms of hardware you need what's called a MIDI interface and this will take your MIDI data out of your DX7 and send it on to your computer. In terms of software, you need what's called a sysx librarian, which you can Google online and download for free. These are available for PC and Mac, and the sysx librarian will take the MIDI data as sent through the MIDI interface, and it will store it as a sysx file. Once you have the sysx file stored on your computer, you can reload it back into your DX7. So once you've got those pieces in place, you need to connect your MIDI interface to your DX7. So using a MIDI cable, which in this case will be the 5-pin DIN type, the, the traditional type, you connect one end to your MIDI out on your DX7 and the other end to the MIDI in on your MIDI interface. And the interface itself should be connected to your PC or laptop via a USB cable. With everything all connected, we need to prepare the DX7 for MIDI transfer. So the first thing we need to do is turn the memory protection off. So press memory protect internal it'll say internal on, you need to press no and make sure that it says internal off. Then you press function and go to eight and press it a few times until you see system info unavailable. We need to make that available by pressing yes and now our DX7 is ready to transfer data to your computer. So in the librarian we can see that uh, we have two options here. So one is that we need to select our MIDI device, uh, the MIDI interface device, which I've selected here. And you've got two options. One is to record one file and the other one is to record many files. So if you want to store all of your patches in, in this bank of 32, you'd need to record many files. If you just want to record one, then uh, we can select which patch we want to store. So let's do one. So we arm it here, it says waiting for sysx message, and I can press any one of these buttons that has a patch on it to send it through to my computer as a single file. So let's choose this one that's already on. So it has received it, and you can see here that it's just 163 bytes, so that is an indication that I've only received one file. So let's do the whole bank. I'm going to press record many. Now instead of pressing the numbered buttons, I'm going to go into function and here I am in system info available. I'm going to press 8 again and it says MIDI transmit and I want to do that so I press yes and now it will send it to my sysx librarian. You can see that the file size is 4 kilobytes which is the size of a bank of 32 patches. So uh, that is the process for sending either all of your uh, patches as a single bank or sending individual patches. And once you've done that, you can name your sysx files however you please. You can store them in a folder. By default, there will be a sysx librarian folder, but you can create your own folders and store it on hard drive. Um, but yeah, if you've got really important banks or patches that you want to store, this is the process. I highly recommend it. And it does help to not only keep revisions of patches that you're working on, but to store a lot of the many many sysx files that are available online as well so i hope that helps and i'll see you in the next video mm -hmm.